subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about some commonly asked questions in Certified in Production and Inventory Management. So let's get started. Question number 1. The overall objective of an integrated supply chain can best be described as the achievement of Your options are A. Decrease lead time B. Increase supplier partnerships C. An efficient flow of materials and information D. An efficient flow of production The correct answer is, option C. Question number 2 a company's cost of goods sold would be found on which of the following financial documents? Your options are A. Balance Sheet B. Income Statement C. Cash Flow Statement D. Performance Statement The correct answer is, option B. Question number 3. In an assemble-to-order production environment, the master production schedule contains your options are A. Standard items B. Finished items C. Raw materials D. Subassemblies The correct answer is, option D. Question number 4. Which of the following manufacturing systems involves the creation of one unit or a small number of units? Your options are A. Flow manufacturing B. Intermittent manufacturing C. Project Manufacturing D. Continuous Manufacturing The correct answer is, option C. Question number 5. After a quality improvement program has been successfully implemented, the greatest cost of controlling quality typically is the cost of Your options are A. Failure B. Appraisal C. Prevention D. Inspection the correct answer is, option C. Question number 6. In the income statement, the cost of goods sold is related to the Your options are A. Sales dollars B. Total inventory dollars C. Marketing expenses D. Manufacturing expenses The correct answer is, option D. Question number 7. Manufacturing overhead includes which of the following types of costs? Your options are A. Interest expense B. Supervision C. Direct labor D. Direct material The correct answer is, option B. Question number 8. Which of the following concepts could a firm implement to reduce defects? Your options are A. Hansay B. Jaduka C. Mori D. Hijunka The correct answer is, option B. Question number 9. Inventory turns is an appropriate performance measure for which of the following functions? Your options are A. Material control B. Activity-based costing control C. Total quality management D. Flexible manufacturing the correct answer is, option A. Question number 10. The primary purpose of enterprise resources planning is to Your options are A. Focus on the manufacturing function within an organization B. Integrate an approach to business management C. Use external knowledge to seek an internal advantage D. Provide data protection along the supply chain the correct answer is, option B. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel, 